What started off as an open letter to uh, Maharashtra Chief Minister Devendra Fadnavis seems to have turned, according to some, into a letter war. For me, it's become a symbol of the fact that we are still a robust, vibrant democracy. Let me be honest, I have written open letters in the past to Narendra Modi, to Rahul Gandhi, to Manmohan Singh, to Raj Thakre, through those very columns. Never got a reply. So I was pleasantly surprised when the Maharashtra Chief Minister actually replied to me. What troubled me was what happened after that. The Maharashtra Chief Minister gave me a point by point rebuttal. I in turn responded to that again and we seem to have the basis for a healthy dialogue. And yet the moment the Chief Minister wrote to me, right wing trolls and possibly the army that exists on the internet suddenly turned around and said, Devendra slaps Rajdeep. So be it. I responded to the Chief Minister. I wrote a detailed letter again. This time suddenly, I found another hashtag on Twitter, Rajdeep the real hero. Let me be honest. I don't think Mr. Fadnavis intended to slap me. Yes, he made a few unfortunate remarks, I think, about pseudo-secularism and being a lefty, all of which was avoidable, I thought, and personal. But I, as I said, I respected the fact that a chief minister had bothered to respond to a columnist when he raised some questions. On the other hand, I didn't see myself as a hero when I was responding to the chief minister again. I believe that it is important as a professional to put facts in the public domain and then let the viewer decide. At times, you must also express your opinion. And again, we may all differ with our opinion, but it is possible to have, I believe, a civilized engagement in society, provided we keep the hate and the abuse out of it. Because the moment you get into an abusive discourse, then the entire conversation becomes meaningless. Then you don't enlighten the viewers anymore or the readers anymore. You're simply trying to either enrage or excite them. And I don't think that's the purpose of journalism. Sadly, television in particular has been prone to these debates, which dare I say, have turned out to be noisy big fights, which is why I believe there is something still left in the power of the printed word, which is also perhaps why we've been actually able to carry out this letter dialogue without any rancor. Remember, there was a time in our freedom struggle and after that, when all our great freedom fighters, even if they were on, even if they had different perspectives, wrote to each other. Look at Gandhi's letters. Look at the letters Nehru wrote to his chief ministers and the letter they wrote back. Or Jay Prakash Narayan writing to Indira Gandhi and how she responded. It's all possible if you want to have a civilized discourse. So that's my hope. I know that the letter war is a more attractive way of pitching this. And I know that even All India Bakchod, I see, has taken it up and has uh, done a spoof on it. Look, guys, it's time to chill. And it's time to realize that in a country like ours, it's possible to engage without anger, without abuse, and without rancor. Let's make this a role model for the future. May there be many more open letters sent by many more netas and many more journalists. Thanks for listening to me. Those are my thoughts. Eid Mubarak to all of you. Do write in to rajdeepsardesai.net.